Hood Solar Panel. If you own a car, here's a fantastic way to get free energy all the time. Just install a special solar panel on the hood. What makes it better than carrying regular portable solar panels for trips? Well, first, these specially designed hood panels offer simplicity of use. No need for complex installations or equipment. They're easy to set up on your vehicle. Second, the solar panels use robust monocrystalline elements and come with a special coating, making them suitable for outdoor use. This coating is resistant to all weather conditions and water, and it's self-cleaning. Plus, it's incredibly thin at just 0.1 inches, ensuring it won't obstruct the driver's view in any way. You don't have to worry about the power. These panels come in 110, 105, 100, 85, and 60-watt options, giving you the flexibility to select one that suits your needs for charging devices or serving as a backup power source for your car. Check out the sleek design of the solar panel on the hood. No messy tangle of wires and bolts, just a simple way to get solar power wherever you go. Is the panel durable enough to handle hail? Chances are it should do just fine. Nowadays, panels are designed to resist not only hail, but also handle people jumping on them. In fact, they can even hold up against cars driving over them. SkyMax while this windmill looks like a sophisticated and not-so-portable solution at first, don't judge too soon. The Missouri Wind and Solar Company might just change your perspective. Weighing in at only 77 pounds, the wind turbine body and its five blades are easily assembled into a singular device for capturing wind energy. It can be conveniently installed on a house roof or any required location. Additionally, the windmill easily breaks down into small components for simple transportation. At first glance, the completed design might not strike you as groundbreaking, but according to its creators, the turbine is surprisingly quiet and produces minimal vibration. This is attributed to the materials used, specifically a glass fiber reinforced nylon composite, and the arrangement of its components. The design of SkyMax also affects its performance. Most people wouldn't be surprised by it, given that it's rated at 1500 watts with a peak power of 1800 watts. However, the fact that the turbine can start operating at wind speeds as low as 4.5 to 5.5 miles per hour will certainly please those heading to places with less wind. Solar Stick there are plenty of easy and mobile ways to tap into free energy, but what we have here is essentially a device on a stick. Though to be fair, calling it a mere stick would be underselling it. It's actually a robust base made from aircraft-grade aluminum and stainless steel. The brilliance of this invention is how effortlessly it can be set up. It takes just five minutes and doesn't require any tools. Keep in mind that this gadget generates free energy using two solar panels with a total output of 100 watts. While it might not be sufficient for powering numerous intricate devices, it's an excellent choice as a portable energy source. This device is designed to be more than just an independent energy generation tool. It's envisioned as a versatile assistant, complementing other electricity generating methods like wind turbines or traditional generators that run on diesel or gasoline. Basically, anything that helps produce power when there's no access to the main grid. E-String while we're accustomed to the widespread use of solar panels and wind turbines, it's easy to forget about tapping into the energy of water. Enomad offers a fantastic device that consistently produces free energy working 24-7. At first glance, this device doesn't seem like it could generate energy at all. It might be mistaken for a flashlight or a storage device. However, with a few tweaks, it becomes clear that this creation is designed for a specific purpose. The unfolding blades are the key components responsible for transforming the flow's energy into a electricity. A small turbine weighing just 1.7 pounds and easily fixed in a river or stream with a peg might not deliver mind-blowing performance. With dimensions on the compact side, it produces a modest 2.5 to 5 watts of power, enough for charging your gadgets. If you need to juice up your phone later, the energy can be stored in a 6400 milliamp hour lithium-ion battery. The makers say it takes around four and a half hours to charge the battery, and once charged, you can fully charge your iPhone three times. At $180, it might be hard to expect more, but the device also comes with a handy flashlight feature. A-Zero 
What makes a perfect vacation? Well, you've got the beach, the sun, the sea. Let's not forget about solar panels after all. What's a sunny spot without them? At Beachill, they've made beach life easier by integrating solar panels directly into their mattresses. No need to lug around separate panels anymore, just grab a mattress with built-in solar cells. Don't expect this mattress to be a powerhouse, the integrated panel delivers just 7 watts. The manufacturer's intention wasn't to revolutionize home energy supply, but to offer a handy solution for keeping your gadgets charged while you kick back on the beach away from your usual outlets. The company does Designed the mattress to be waterproof and heat resistant for beach use, unfortunately it won't float on water, so you can only harness free energy for your devices while on the shore. Beta Ray there are people who think that beauty should play a role in the way we capture free energy. You can imagine the joy they'll feel when they find out about raw lemons lenses. Obviously, you don't need to talk much about aesthetics. Everything's visible on the screen. The invention is a large ball shaped like a frozen droplet of water, ensuring it doesn't create any visual distraction. What really matters here is understanding how it works and its overall efficiency, rather than just the way it looks. These spherical collectors, crafted from acrylic polymer lenses containing water and measuring 30 or 71 inches across, harness sunlight to focus it on a compact photoelectric panel. The first gadget can yield approximately 1.1 kilowatt hours of energy every day, and the second can provide up to 3.4 kilowatt hours daily. The latter, for instance, has the capacity to sustain a laptop with average power consumption for an entire week. Having a device that not only looks beautiful, but also generates a decent amount of energy is something new, but only time will tell how efficient it really is. Atlas 2.0 the combination of cutting-edge wind turbine designs and the need for easy transport has resulted in the development of a windmill that outperforms others in effectiveness and can be set up quickly in any location. Atlas 2.0 represents cutting-edge technology, featuring a vertical axial design for its turbine. This design, proven to be superior to traditional models, generates 2 kilowatts of power while maintaining a much more compact size compared to conventional wind turbines of similar capacity. Additionally, its unique structure allows the turbine to function effectively in areas with wind speeds as low as 7 miles per hour. The turbine is a fantastic choice for generating free energy, both at home and on the go, thanks to its easy assembly and disassembly. However, it's not flawless. If the wind picks up to 112 to 130 miles per hour, it's smart to shut the blades to prevent any mishaps. After all, these turbines aren't designed for daredevils looking to harvest energy during a hurricane. Sirocco. A regular wood-burning stove becomes a cozy heat tub with the help of a Hansa fan spreading warmth throughout your space. But how do the stove and the fan work together, and what does free energy have to do with it? Simply put, it's all about the heat energy that the stove releases. This energy is transferred to the fan where it's converted into mechanical energy that drives the blades of the device. It's all science. No hocus pocus. The fan shown on the screen is the whole package. No additional parts to worry about. It's portable and can go anywhere you need it. Just make sure there's a heat source, preferably a stove, with a temperature of at least 122 degrees Fahrenheit, since that's what the fan is designed for. Plus, the fan is so quiet that you won't even notice it, making it perfect for a good night's sleep or any other quiet activity. Solar Glider Here's a drone that comes with solar panels serving as a cool flying solar energy collector. Making your own just takes a bit of programming, some know-how in crafting aircraft, and a small budget. A small group of people developed a drone equipped with specialized panels on its wings and body, generating 3.5 watts of power each. Surprisingly, this drone managed to travel 398 miles over 14.3 hours without relying on additional energy sources, consuming a total energy of 775 watt hours. Right now, these flying gadgets are mainly for fun during holidays and for exploring science. However, if we come up with better solar panels and less demanding engines, tapping into solar power in the sky could take off to new heights. And if this 
drone looks boring to you, you can try to create a quadcopter drone powered by solar panels. If it proves to generate enough energy, you could greatly advance the cause of sustainable energy. Mobile Hydropower Plant Blue Freedom's innovative device outshines other portable solar panels by charging its batteries in just three to four hours, a remarkable improvement compared to the average eight to 10 hours. But that's not the only reason why their invention stands out in the realm of harnessing free energy. Let's start by acknowledging that the device isn't flawless as it depends on a river for energy generation. It's essential to highlight that the river's flow shouldn't be excessively fast as the turbine can function with a minimum flow rate of just four feet per second. The device's design receives only positive praise as it embodies what a truly portable free energy extraction tool should look like. The turbine's diameter is just 4.7 inches and it weighs in at 1.5 pounds. Beyond its compactness, the device also impresses with its stability, performing well in temperatures ranging from 41 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit and at altitudes up to 16,000 feet. When a hydro turbine swiftly replenishes its battery with 5,000 milliamp hours, it means gadgets can charge much faster. For instance, an iPhone can be fully charged within one to two hours using up to five watts of power. Besides relying on a river, the device has another downside, its price. At $300, it's noticeably more expensive than the Enomad's eStream mentioned in today's video. Sunflare Solar Oven Real fans of renewable energy may not be thrilled with the idea of cooking on an electric stove. Fortunately, there's a convenient, portable oven that lets them cook wherever they want without worrying about energy costs. This oven is specially designed to cook using sunlight only. Its walls are made of reflective material, directing sunlight to the center where the food is placed. The temperature there reaches 284 degrees Fahrenheit, enough to cook various dishes quickly. It works best in areas with a UV index higher than 4, ensuring fast and efficient cooking. Naturally, it's worth mentioning how easy it is to carry the oven around. When folded up, it weighs just over a pound and measures about 2 by 15 by 19 inches, so you can toss it in a backpack without any hassle. All that's left is to invest $140 and you can cook anywhere without needing electricity or fuel. If you're confident in your abilities and prefer not to spend money, you can easily put together a comparable solar oven yourself. Take a look at what students at the University of Arizona are doing, creating and testing their own solar cooking solutions. Inflatable Solar Panels you probably already know how convenient inflatable objects are because they're so easy to carry around. What's fascinating is that solar panels have now reached a point where they're incredibly mobile too. When these solar panels are folded, they hardly take up any space, making them super convenient for transportation. When you're ready to use them, just press a few buttons and the panels will quickly expand. But there's a catch. This groundbreaking panel isn't ready for travelers just yet. It'll take a journey into space before it makes its way back down to Earth. Tests conducted for space applications have shown that the inflatable solar panel system can produce an average power of one kilowatt for a spacecraft in low Earth orbit. Initially, the prototype was folded into such a compact shape that it would have only been able to provide a few tens of watts using traditional energy extraction systems. Sunjack Solar Panel Imagine a tablet-sized gadget that easily transforms into a tool for harnessing energy, the ultimate dream for all travelers. This set of solar panels is incredibly compact, so much so that its size and weight are immediately noticeable. You can effortlessly carry it in a backpack, hold it in one hand without strain, and place it anywhere with ease. Despite being lightweight and compact, Sunjack's panels are resilient against moisture and resistant to most physical damage. Let's talk about how the device charges gadgets. On its rear side, you'll find a part with two USB ports, one USB-A and the other Type-C. Both ports can supply a current of up to three amps, ensuring a charging speed comparable to a regular outlet. The device is smart enough to identify your gadget and pick the best charging speed. Plus, it's designed to protect against problems like short circuits and overloads. Even with a low power setting of 25 watts, this gadget effectively charges your devices, and it comes at a reasonable price of $80. For those seeking more power, there's a pricier 60-watt version available. An 
And here's something handy for travelers who are always on the go, a kinetic boot that produces electricity as you walk. 